Uh, good afternoon and hello to all listeners. Uh, industry 4.0, print 4.0. Where is the state of the art of the printing industry? Is the printing industry a leader in industry 4.0? Because since 30 or 40 years, we are a workflow oriented branch. Or that's the opposite of it. Uh, is predominated by, by small and medium sized companies and characterized by craftsmanship. Uh, is there much to do in the future to reach the aim of print 4.0? Uh, this leads to the question of how can the situation be described and be described by a method, methodology. And before I come to this, uh, please allow me to tell you a little bit about where I'm coming from. Uh, my background, the University of Media in Stuttgart or the Hochschule der Medien. It's a public university which teaches media specialists, only media specialists, no other themes. We are located at the campus in stuttgart feingen and in the neighborhood of the University of Stuttgart and a lot of institutes of the Fraunhofer Gesellschaft. And we have a broad spectrum of media expertise uh, from printing media to electronic media, from design to business administration, from library science to advertising, from content for media to packaging technology, from computer science to information science to, to publishing and electronic media. So we have about 30 accredited bachelor's and master's degree. And actually we have more than 5,000 students. Most of them, I think it's uh, uh, in the home office, but uh, still we have some lectures uh, at the university. And so I have to go tomorrow morning very early in my study course. The study course I'm teaching is industrial engineering media. It's a mixture of business administration, of technology, of engineering, IT, and even design. And we have uh, every year about 50, 80 uh, students there that studying this, this course. So back uh, to our discussion, I think a slice, uh, the picture very well known, the overview of the industrial revolutions uh, beginning in the uh, middle or end of 18th century with uh, uh, mechanization, with uh, steam power, with a waving loom and it was steel production. Uh, one about 100 years later, the second industrial revolution was mass production, the first assembly line and electrical energy started. And then again, 100 years later, industry 3.0 uh, was automation and the first computers and electronics started and now, uh, less than 100 years later, only about 30, 40 years later, we are talking about industry 4.0, cyber physical systems. Uh, and the one, what we are talking about is what happens during this transition from the third to the fourth revolution. Uh, and there, it's, so I think it's interesting uh, that the fourth was defined at its beginning. Uh, and I think even before, uh, the revolution really started, so it's uh, much more uh, difficult to define it. Uh, and I would like to show you what I think is the main topic or the main difference. Uh, still today is automation a topic which is very interesting, even if you think about automated driving and the new S-Class for Mercedes is just launched this day, this day uh, and still automation is uh, interesting for the industry 4.0. But the main thing is that we need sensors and networking to do this automation. And I would focus on this sensors and networking and uh, in the forum you will discuss this, uh, what we need in the printing industry to get uh, to, to use this. Uh, let's look on some more definitions. Uh, uh, 
there are countless attempts for this definition and uh, full of books of this, but I took three, for example, here, uh, industry 4.0, and what you see highlighted is that it's production related. Uh, and not, of course, information and communication is uh, for instance, but it's production related as the first thing. And uh, as the third topic, there's something to the printing industry where we are looking for intelligent machines uh, which receive their orders uh, from outside through actual printing and packaging systems, and they work autonomously. So the employees do not have longer to carry out the works individually. That's a pro production, that's a process that's related to the uh, machines working in the, in the production, uh, but also we have, we have a look on the products. And I found uh, uh, something what Mr. Kagerman, the founder of SAP told us, and uh, he told us about a different defines products in the industry 4.0. They are identifiable. They are located at any time. They know their own history. They know their current state. And they even know alternative ways uh, how they are, can be produced. And they actively support the production process. That's uh, high definitions. And we would like to, can, how can we talk about this. Uh, so let's go back to our to the key question, and, uh, and I would like to talk to you: uh, How can Industry 4.0 be described, identified, and maybe implemented in your in your factory, in your printing house? And when I studied. Uh, some books and looked in the internet, I found a practical tool and toolbox and a guideline from the VDMA, from the German Engineering Federation, uh, a guideline industry 4.0, which is related to small and medium-sized business. And so it's, I think it, it fits very well to, uh, to our branch. Uh, and that's the thing I want to discuss you. And if you look, uh, on the slide, this toolbox uh, uh, defines to uh, the investigation area we have to look at, and at the first few, it's differences between production and product, uh, and opens then two viewing areas: the technology development status, which is described how near we are producing uh, on how near are our products to industry 4.0. And on the second, uh, the applications levels uh, of the approaches. Um, and we will start with the production. And this toolbox and this matrix or this checklist uh, can used for the description of the status quo. And it's methodological basis for analyzing the existing uh, competences of your, your companies and your printing houses. Uh, and then leads you to define new targets, uh, how to come from the current stage to with new ideas to a new target and how can you implement take projects uh, to reach this target. So let's try to do this uh, very basic for the for the printing industry. Uh, I don't want to talk about uh, every uh, topic here. But only if I think the method is very interesting to discuss, and uh, we can look on this. And I think you have heard from uh, Mr. Kozak the last day uh, about. Uh, solution of Manrol and Goss uh, with MaintainSense, where they use uh, tools for data acquisition and analysis, uh, and even, for example, uh, Koenig and Bauer 
uh, has the same idea uh, with this data from the production. Uh, to use it for maintenance reasons or the optimization of the production process. So that's all already available. Uh, so that's part of, I think, industry 4.0, uh, print 4.0. Uh, let's have a look on the production workflow and uh, there, I think, is important the JDF JMF workflow, which uh, is using, which is used for the production to bring the information about uh, the product to, to the machine, which is, I think, it's important for the uh, print 4.0 process is that the sensors and networking is used to get information from the machine back uh, in the MES, MIS system for uh, the planning of the pro further production. And even here, uh, there are solutions available uh, from Maro and Goss, uh, from Müller-Martini or auch from Heidelberger Druck Machine. Um, so you can uh, say uh, that there are some approaches available and of course they depend on the necessary investments and in machines and software to use these uh, approaches. But let's uh, have a look uh, to the uh, to the products. Uh, uh, and in the printing sector, we are general most times talking about mass production. One of the biggest uh, print products uh, is still the IKEA catalog. Even if the circulation of brochures, catalogs, magazines, and newspaper is falling. Uh, that's our main um, that are our main products and the identification of in your pieces is often unusual but i think it will become more important in the future and at the same time uh, the technological structure of a print product is nearly simple in relation for example to a gearbox or a complete car uh, and against this background it's not surprising that the actual situation little bit shown as here on the slides, uh, is much more analog or analogous than in other branches. But still, it's an idea to do this uh, uh, guide and this, uh, this guideline to use it also for our products. Uh, and overall, you can say for the products uh, in a printing house, uh, what's, uh, what are we looking for that graphic products can have even a memory or to know how they are made or under which condition uh, and can instruct machines to process them in a certain way. But this is with the interactive product still difficult and we have to use uh, other technologies like QR codes, like RFID or NFC ships related to the product or are printed on, and, but it's uh, still, still difficult. If we conclude this, uh, what's the status uh, of the art at the moment uh, for the production, you can say uh, that solutions are available. They are focused on the workflow, looking for the MDA MES systems uh, related to the machine status, the status of the production machines and related to the maintenance problematic. What is to do? What's the problem? What, what tasks uh, are to solve? You have to invest in the normally thing uh, related to the elements of your uh, equipment. And of course, you uh, concept re is required how to use this uh, workflow and the data that they provide in the process. If you're looking to the product, to the print product, I think there are not really solutions available at the moment. Uh, so there's no focus in this. You, on it, you have to look what you want to do with this. And the problem is that the, that we are bulk products and uh, the unique piece identification is in the most parts very difficult. 
So what uh, what is to do? Um, this guidelines from the VDMR also has uh, has some steps uh, consisting of five uh, consisting of five steps from the preparation till the implementation of uh, Industry 4.0. And now we have, want to have a look on what is doing for Print 4.0 and how is it related? What I said at the beginning that uh, I think the core of Industry 4.0 is sensor and networks. Or are sensors and networks. Uh, okay, when you look on the slides, you see that it starts with the preparation where you are building up uh, knowledge about the relevant market and, and, and of, about your own production and analyzes in the second step uh, the expertise which is available in your company uh, and which is concerning uh, to the industry 4.0 technologies. And you do this, uh, that's uh, suggested in a team, the interdisciplinary team, to have more different looks on these problems. After this, you generate ideas, uh, uh, evaluate them, and try to draw up and generate a proposal, uh, usually for the company management. What does that? What does it mean for the printing industry? Uh, what I think at the first, you have to identify interesting data and information in your company. What's interesting for you? Uh, where are the sensors who are, on which way you can collect this, this data? And in the next uh, with a creative process, you have to generate new ideas which, uh, to describe using the network, uh, what can you do with this data? And after it's uh, the evaluation and the implementation. Uh, and so we, the I think the circle is closed with this uh, topics I mentioned at the beginning of my, my presentation that, uh, that you're looking for the sensors for the data and how can you use this data. For this, because I come to the end of my presentation, uh, what can I say to the whole uh, uh, printing industry? I think the, the printing industry is only at the beginning of print 4.0 or the industry 4.0 because we are only in the production. We have some uh, pieces of uh, solutions for industry 4.0. What's what is much more interesting? What can we do with our products? Thank you for your audience. Okay, can you Mr. shall Hartmann? I stop uh, the the sharing? Yeah, you can stop sharing. Okay. That would be nice. Thank, so thank you so much yeah. for for a very good presentation and and this gave you gave us a, a good overview of, of industry 4.0 and what what lies ahead. Uh, we have several questions here in our questions column and and if we can't get through them, then we might persuade you to maybe answer them and we can send them to the attendees afterwards. That may, might be an idea. Uh, one of these questions is, uh, uh, do you feel that in the rush for IT optimization, often basic security rules are forgotten? Do, do you feel that? Yeah, I think so. It's not, uh, was not part of my presentation, but I think the security is much more important than uh, all people think at the moment. Uh, because if the security does not work, you have a problem in the production. And here we are uh, talking about uh, the one Ifra about newspaper production. You cannot imagine what's what's happened at when at nine o'clock in the evening uh, the machine does not work because of a virus. Uh, uh, that's very dangerous, I think. Okay, but uh, you mentioned in the in the end there where, where you were driving it home to the into the print industry where you were talking about the print industry and yeah. uh, industry 4.0. Uh, 
Uh, do you feel that uh, the equipment that we are using today is suitable for it? Because of course it's data driven. The 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 this this industry 4.0 is data driven, and and are these is this equipment that we are using collecting enough data to to be able to? I I, I think the it? new machines, the new equipment, can uh, collect enough data. I think uh, the problem at the moment, if you're looking at uh, the whole printing industry, is that we have a lot of machines and equipment which is old and has no sensors and no network. So it's, uh, like I told on one slide, it's a problem of the investigation, in, uh, of the money you have to invest. So uh, I think that's uh, maybe the biggest problem for the uh, for industry 4.0 in the printing industry that you have to that you need that you need money. But is is it possible to retrofit these some of these older equipment that maybe yeah like you say I'm know. not sure uh, uh, whether it makes sense. I, I think uh, to you you have to integrate a lot of sensors. Maybe you have to ask uh, Manuel Kozak. Maybe that works. Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure about this. Of course, it's a retrofit is a is a good way to uh, to get down the invest you need. Uh, but uh, if it's possible to all to integrate all sensors, I'm not not sure. Okay, because I I I've heard and I, I think I read somewhere that uh, for instance Bosch and Festo and and other companies are integrating new solutions for old analog equipment to integrate into into the industry 4.0 environment with it so you run old machines that have more sensors to be able to yeah but i think uh, if you are looking uh, to the price of a new machine and uh, we always talking about the steel that's uh, inside of a machine it's not the the, the most of the problem it makes not the most of the price are so it maybe it's easier and uh, even if you're thinking about the exchange of the machine during the production uh, it's easier to buy a new one and to switch during the production than from the old to the new one otherwise you have to stop the production uh, made a uh, retrofit and start again and so i i think you have to to count very very good. Okay, thank you. What what about I mean now you you have been monitoring obviously the the equipment of of the German manufacturers uh, like you mentioned before Heidelberg Druckmaschine and Maroland and Koenig Power. Uh, uh, we saw a presentation from Maroland yesterday the main talent sense mm -hmm. which is preventive maintenance and that's perfect example of of industry four point mm -hmm. uh, do you, is are, are the two other companies doing similar to that? I mean, for instance, Marlon, Roland, no, sorry, Koenig and Bauer and and Heidelberg Petrol Machine. Yeah, I think the three have uh, similar ideas. Uh, I have, I don't know them in the in the detail. Marlon, I know a little bit better than the other ones, uh, but I think that the idea, and I think even if the the post press machines, I think they have a, also the same idea if you're looking for Miller Martini or anything like this. Uh, so I think the maybe in detail they are different, but I think the the, the, the idea and the game and the target they have is, is very similar. So be all all be all gathering data to be able to to predict the the yeah. how things will develop. Yeah. I think as you told, as you said it's a, a very good uh, example for industry 4.0. We, we have only two or three minutes left. Is there something you want to tell our, our, our attendees, something, some, some advice how, to, how they can maybe uh, familiarize themselves better with Industry 4.0 and, 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 and start to, to embrace it instead of fighting it? Uh, so I did it the, the last uh, four weeks in uh, preparation this, this presentation. I think it's... Uh, very difficult because you can buy a lot of books about uh, business models and uh, about examples anywhere from the uh, uh, 
car, branch, or anything. I think you have to, as I, I mentioned in the, in the slides, you have to look on your data you have in your, your company and what do you want to do with this data. And I, some years ago, I think two or three years ago, I, I was in a very small uh, printing house. They, hold, they had very old equipment, but what did they do? They gave every operator of a machine an iPad. And the iPad was in the VLAN, and uh, the iPad was used for the uh, data of the machine. And it's not, not, it's not really 4.0, but the idea, the sensor is a, the, the man at the machine, and he's putting it in the, in the iPad, and they are using the, the network, the VLAN, which uh, is common uh, everywhere uh, for the transmission of the data. That's the idea of Industry 2.0. I feel I was uh, very, very glad about this. Mm -hmm. And that's the idea to go in your company and you know, which data do I need or do I have on, on which, on which, uh, in which process, in which uh, equipment part and what can I do with this data? And how can I use uh, uh, digital moments to use this data very easily? Okay. I thank you so much for your great presentation you. and the great insights. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. Uh, I'll urge you to stay connected for the new business development. It's starting in 30 seconds or so. So okay. thank stay you. tuned and, and take care, everybody. Thank, thank you. you. Bye-bye to all bye. listeners. Bye.